Hey guys, I am working, but I said, you know what? I gotta do something with this head. So let me show you guys how I do my mohawk and how I form it and everything. A lot of people was wondering, so I'm just gonna do a video. These are some twists that I had in for over a week and um, I'm just going to take these out and uh, show you how I do the mohawk that I love. But, you know, hair is just something that, I don't know, just for me, I'm gonna be honest, I got three girls, but one, I don't have to do hair, she's in college, but I just don't have the time and energy to continue. Every time I get dressed or wanna go somewhere, the first thing I think about is my hair and having to do my hair and how it, it kind of literally stresses me out like it makes me feel some type of way thinking oh i gotta blow dry it i gotta form it and get it the way i want it because i like to wear it a certain way and then um i'm thinking about the humanity and all that stuff so let me just show y'all how i do it let me show y'all because this was requested and i said this is the perfect time to show y'all ridiculous. I have been really neglecting it. I really have. I'm going to be honest with you. But I think those, I think I'm lying. I think those two have been in for a couple weeks. <laughs> Not just a week. So I kind of do this and blow it out as much as I can. And uh, uh, stop, man. Air. You see, this is what I have to do to get dressed and get ready, and I just don't, I'm over it. I'm so over it. That's why I keep it tied down, okay? So, what is that cover stuff coming from? Hold on. All right, so once I have it like that, I go here, and I do my thing like this, like that, right? And I kind of puff it out and do my thing. Um, this is the frohawk that most people used to seeing me with or whatever. This one here. Um, and it's simple. And I ain't even got it all the way. Hold up. I wanted to look bigger. I just not pat it down as much. Hold up. It ain't even combed and blown all the way out. I can feel it at the root. Jeez. Okay. So I go here. <laughs> and then I kind of do my thing with it like ooh, like that. It's not difficult. Not difficult at all. Um, but, yeah. That's kind of what I do. And I'm over it. I'm over it, y'all. I'm so over it. I'm over it. I'm over it, I'm over it, I'm over it. I can't, it's too much. Life is more than here, and I'm not gonna do this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I want my brush cut back. Y'all know me, I wore a brush cut back in the days, and when I say that was the most beautiful thing I ever did, do y'all see that? That's my hair. I went from the, app, from the, the brush cut, to growing the afro, to chopping it to this, to, I'm over it. I am over this. I'm over it. I'm over it. It's just like, it's so much stuff I could be doing in life and me worrying about how I'm going to do my hair, how it's going to get done, and all this other stuff is not what I want. It's definitely not what I want. It's not how I'm going to live my life at all. And so, I'm back to my brush cut. Embrace yourself. Your big forehead, because I have a, a, a nice eight piece but when I beat my face and, and, and do me and and my skin is popping it's gorgeous it's gorgeous I know I look a hot mess but I'm over it I'm not gonna let my hair define me for one I am not going to allow my hair to take up time in my life I am not gonna allow my time to be spent trying to figure it out this right here God, God gave this to me. It will grow again. I'm not about to do it, y'all. I can't. I can't. Bye-bye.
Hello, my revivers. So here your girl is. I just want to stop him really quick to talk to you guys about why I did this. I did this because it was freeing to my soul, to my mind, to my mental, and to everything that goes through my brain when it's time to get dressed, go somewhere, or do something. Do you not realize the anxiety and the, the, the frustration I get thinking about having to wash it if it needs to be washed before I do it, blow drying it, moisturizing it, all those things, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to do and that's most of the reason why I keep my girl's hair braided in some type of protective style I'm not about to sit here in front with you and say that I'm going to be twisting and moisturizing every day no I'm not that's why I have my sprays and they spray their hair and I still spray this and I just brush it but this is freeing to me it makes me feel good it makes me feel less worry less frustration less anxiety and I feel more of a freedom and a burden lifted when it's time to go I can grab a hat without a problem and don't have to see the three humps on the top from the, or the four humps from the twist I can throw a wrap on you don't have to worry about the humps on the top you guys don't even understand even when I had to wrap it it was only certain ways I can wear wraps and I like to wear wraps where I have the bun in the back but I really couldn't because I had the four or three twists and I would always keep my hair in to keep it protected when I'm not you know wearing it it's just too much. It's too much. And I'm not going to keep doing that. I'm not going to keep doing that. And I said myself, I said, self, self said, hmm. I said, we are cutting it. We are cutting it. And I don't care who cares about what. And I thank God that my hubby loves my hair short. He loves it. He was like, babe, you already know. I don't have a problem with it. I loved it when you had it short. So that wasn't a problem. And then the fact that my children, my my baby's been staring at me like, Mommy, I love when your hair is like that. It just looks so pretty on you. And that makes me feel good. Not that I do anything for them, but it's an extra added bonus when they enjoy it as well. You get what I'm saying? You have to embrace every part of you. If you got a little extra or whatever the case may be, embrace it. I embrace it, y'all. I don't care. This is me. I love me and I feel free. No hair, don't care. I don't, I don't care, but I got more time to spend. And I can honestly tell you, it's a lot of times people ask me to come do something or go somewhere and I'm like, Ugh, oh, it's not a good time, um, I'm gonna have to get ready. And I really declined some invites because I didn't wanna do my hair. No, I can't live life like that. What if that invite should be a connection to somebody God has for me? A lot of times when you don't wanna do something is when you should do something. And that's sometimes when you lose. A blessing or miss a blessing so i'm just saying but yeah i love it it's freeing i wanted you guys to see me do it a lot of you guys wanted to see my way i mold my my fro hawk and i said let me do this for them but let me also share something right after i'm done because as i was doing it i said no i'm cutting this right now on camera in front of you guys so you guys can see hair does not define me hair should not define you you know what I mean? It should not define you. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys was just embrace you. Embrace you, your nose, your lips, your forehead, your head, whatever it is that God has created in you. Embrace it. Learn to love it. It will free you so much more. It will free you in ways that you never thought it would. And it is a blessing to you because when you feel free, you can move and flourish and work in your purpose. You feel what I'm saying? So I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and share this video with someone who may be contemplating this. I'm telling you, it is it is the bomb. It is the bomb being free. Because girl, I feel free. I love it. I wouldn't change it for nothing. I really wouldn't. And I wish I would have did it a long time ago because I was contemplating this over a year ago. And I said, I don't know. Hubby was like, babe, you sure? Because then you'll turn around and then say, uh, I want to do this to my hair. I want to do that. No, I'm not. Mm -mm. I'm happy. I'm fine. <laughs> Your girl's free. <laughs> All right, guys. Stick to your script because you are the best at it. And I will see you guys later, Gators.